How you doing, my sister? How you doing? What's your name? What is it? Sivvy, can you come a little closer? Can you come a little closer? How you doing, my brother? Over there smoking a cigarette. How you doing, bro? Hey, my name is Amir, man. What's your name? You ever been told you were an Israelite before? Have you ever heard that you're an Israelite? I know you never heard that, right? We're going to prove all things to you, though, okay? All right, Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 26. We're going to prove all, matter of fact, start off with John chapter 8, verse 32. We're going to prove everything, everything that we say we're going to prove. How you doing, Thomas? All right, man, my name What's is Amir. Awesome, man? All right, nice to meet you, man, nice to meet you. So, I'm glad you're over here looking at this sign. So this sign has a, a brief uh, pictorial imagery of some of our history, right? We're going to read some of it, right? And when we read it, it's going to do something for you. Read that. The book of John, chapter 8 and verse 32. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. So God said the truth is going to make you free, not just you, but me too. That's it. Deuteronomy 32, verse 26. So what's the truth? The truth is we are Israelites, man. The truth is God said that he would scatter us all over the earth. That's the truth. The truth, the truth is God said that he would do that as an identifying marker that he will put on his people so that way no one else will go through that. Right. God says that the Chinese wouldn't go through it. God says that the Arabs wouldn't be scattered all over the earth. Right. God says that the Koreans wouldn't be scattered all over the earth. Right. God says that the white the white man, the white woman would not be scattered all over the earth. God says this identifying marker is only specific to you. And we're going to prove that out of the Bible. So when we read these prophecies, that's how you know who you are. They are identifying markers. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 32 and verse 26. I said, I will scatter them into corners. I will make the remembrance of them to cease from among men. Now we know the truth. The truth is, we know who the Koreans are. We asked the Koreans, hey, my little sister's over there walking in the grass. We asked the Koreans, where you come from? They're going to say Korea. We asked the Chinese, where you come from? They're going to say China. They know their history. They can go back to their roots. They can go back to their language, right? Us, we go back to TV. We go back to movies. We go back to Armistead. We go back to the movie roots, right? But God says that right there, us not knowing who we are today, is an identifying marker. It's evident that we are the children of Israel because That's of that, Thomas. Right. Read it again for Thomas. Read it. Verse 26. I said, I will scatter them into corners. I will make the remembrance of them to cease from among men. So God says that he will make the remembrance of us to cease from among men. While we're in these nations, while we're in these nations, he would take everything from us. Right? Deuteronomy chapter 28. We're going to go to verse 1. Deuteronomy 28 and 1. So we're going to show you. We're going to connect the dots for you. That's our job. We're going to connect the dots. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 1. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high, above all nations on the earth. Now, we can honestly say, we've lived our life, Thomas, and we haven't done all of God's commandments. We can honestly say that, right? Because God's given plenty of commandments, right? And we haven't done them all. Right? So God says, because we chose not to do them all, right? Because some of the commandments, we had no idea we were breaking, like smoking cigarettes. We're not supposed to do that, right? Having sex outside of marriage, we're not supposed to do that. But these are things we didn't know. Why? Because we grew up here and we had some other nations teaching us our heritage. So that's our problem. Right? That's been our weakness. That's been our Achilles heel, having some other nation teach us who we are according to God. Jump to uh, 28, chapter 28, verse 15. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass if thou would not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. We just spoke about that, Thomas. God says, if we don't listen to his voice, read, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day. Another one of God's commandments is thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not cheat, thou shalt not lie, thou shalt not defraud thy brother, thy neighbor. Read. That all these curses shall come upon thee. God says if we do that, all these curses are going to come upon us. So we're going to read some of these curses, Thomas. And we're going to see if these curses cannot, if we can put these curses on another nation besides us. And I guarantee you, based off of God's words, his prophecies, we cannot. 
These curses only fit us, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Right. Most people don't know Native Americans went on slave ships just like us. Right. In 1617, most people don't know that. Most people don't know that the that the uh, the Hispanics was on slave ships, right. put in slavery since 1441 on on down. They just now discovered a slave ship off the coast of Florida, with full of chackal down Hispanic brothers and sisters. Mayans, read that. Verse, verse, verse 16 Cursed shall thou be in the city And cursed shall thou be in the field So what does it look like to be cursed in the city? What does it look like? It looks like Our children We can't let them outside at night We gotta keep an eye on them That's a curse, right? You have children, Thomas? You got, you got eight, that's a blessing You got eight children, right? But at the same time, did you raise them? You raised them, you had to look after them heavily, right? I mean, I've looked after them, you know what I'm saying? But I have five boys and three girls. You have so, five boys? Yes, sir. So my boys already knew, you know, the struggle that I already knew. The, the what? The struggle I already knew. The struggle, already right? Knew and that's the curse in the city. The struggle of working, the struggle of staying out of trouble, the struggle of, of not getting shot, the struggle of not getting arrested, right? Having to deal with the black woman. Having to deal with the black woman, too, right? And we're going to prove that. Give me Isaiah 3, verse 16. Is that 16 or what? Isaiah 3, 16. We're going to get that. Verse 12. Get that. We're going to prove all things. Everything that we say, we can prove it in the Bible. Everything. If you have any questions, Thomas, that's why we're here. We're here to teach you everything that God says that the pastors aren't teaching our people. Right? We're here to bring solutions to you. God's words are the solution. Read that. Isaiah chapter 3 and verse 12. As for my people, children are their oppressors. So I'm telling you, we come out here to tell you that you're not black, you're not Negro, you're an Israelite. But what do you call yourself before I introduce myself and tell you that? What do you call yourself? African American, right? You call yourself Thomas. No nationality. Right. Right. I hear you. I hear you. And we... That's, that's, that's an identifying marker because God says he will make the remembrance of us to cease from among men, right? And these places where he scattered us, right? So check this out. Read again. As for my people, children are their oppressors. So God says, as for the Israelites, our children oppress us. I, I don't mean seven-year-olds, right? I mean the 17-year-olds. I mean, I mean the 19-year-olds. I mean the ones who shooting up the neighborhood. That's what I'm talking about. Children are our oppressors, right? They oppress themselves. They oppress the older. They oppress the younger. They are our oppressors. Read. And women rule over them. And who rules over them? And women rule over them. How does that happen? It happens because of single parent homes. Now we cannot connect the dots with the Chinese people with that. We can't say that children, that women rule over the Chinese man. We can't say that, can we? We can't say that the Chinese woman is out of pocket with her man. We can't say that. Yo. We can't say that the Arab woman is out of pocket with her man. We cannot say that. Right. But we can say that the black woman ain't there. Ma I say majority of the time ain't there for her black man when he's working. That's we right. can say that. That's right. And that's a God's, that's a prophecy. God says he's going to put that on you, Thomas, on me. Right? Then we would have to go at these women and, and stand, stand face to face and let them know, no, we lead you. 1 Corinthians chapter uh, 11, verse 1, and 1 through 3. Show them that we lead. We have to do that. That's biblical. Right? That's based off of God's uh, rulership. God is God, Christ man and woman right that's the order of things and that's how god put it out right but because god says he will make the remembrance of us to cease from among men we will be taught something different from the people who rule over us you know you, you already understand why women feel like they got more authority than we do why is that you know, because society society stamped that on them uh-huh you know what I'm saying? that's you right we, we, we all some of us most of us hey, little man, come here. up in the church uh -huh. you see what i'm saying and at the pre preacher preach like you said I'm the, I'm the man of this, this temple. She's first lady. You see what I'm saying? His wife is first lady. Uh -huh. Anything, but, anything below her is just congregation. That's crazy. You see what I'm saying? Right. society built up on social media. Most of the different types, excuse me, different types of reading, different types of books started coming. Think like a man. We got you. Stuff like that. Uh -huh. That's what made these women become the modern right. day women. I agree. Now, now, now the modern day women, first thing they want to say is, where we Right, and, and we about to, we about to show you 
I agree exactly 100% about what you said. Hey, young man, how you doing? How you doing, brother, back there with the black shirt? How you doing, bro? I'm doing good, brother. How you? I'm doing well, man. My name is Amir. What's your name? Hero. What is it, Hero? Hero. That's a good name, man. We got a hero, too. Our hero is Christ, the black messiah. Did you know that? Yo, you know, I know a little something, something. Yeah, that's our hero. You know Christ is a black man? Yes, sir. We're going to go into that, too, right? But we're going to go back to that 1 Corinthians 11. Read that. Verse one. The book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 11 and verse 1. Be ye followers of me, even as I also am a Christ. Now, the pastors aren't following this. They're not following this example that I'm about to read to you. Paul says, be ye followers of me, meaning do what I do, even as I'm a follower of Christ. Read. Now I praise you, brethren, that you remember me in all things and keep the ordinances as I delivered them to you. So what I'm about to read to you, Thomas, is an ordinance. And Paul says, remember this thing. This is an ordinance that I'm delivering to you. Hey, how you doing, my sister? What's your name? I talked to one of y'all. What's your name? Y'all worldwide. So, so yeah, so we're going over some of the ordinances that was delivered to us yeah, about the order of the house. Right, so here was, here was some of the ordinance that Paul said for us to remember. So Thomas, the reason why he said remember, because like he, like you said, we would have all these distractions on us that would elevate our women above us, right? So check this out, read. But I will have you know that the head of every man, verse two, now I praise you brethren, that you remember me in all things. So we're supposed to remember, we're supposed to remember this right here. Remember Paul, what he's about to say in all things. How you doing? We're about to read you something that Paul, he told us to remember, 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 remember. Let's see what it is that we're supposed to remember. And keep the ordinances as I delivered them to you. Hey, this is an ordinance that we come out here to deliver to you off a of knife, knife and ivy. An ordinance. Read that. But I will have you know that the head of every man is Christ. The, the head of us is Christ. Read. And the head of the woman is the man. The head of us men is Christ. Right? And the head of, and we are the head of the woman. Read. And the head of Christ is God. And the head of Christ is God. That's the order. There's no woman ruling over us in any way there's no first lady that's not how it works she's just a wife she's a help me that's all she is right give me that uh what's that first timothy 2 11 i suffer not a woman to teach that's it give me that right so unfortunately today in today's society we have women that are getting they're teaching just to get money right they're teaching that feel good uh uh, uh sermon to their congregations Right? It's unfortunate, but what it's doing is it's bringing a destruction to our brothers. It's bringing disorder to families. Because if a child sees that and sees a woman leading and stepping like that, that little girl's going to grow up thinking that she can do that to her brother. That little boy's going to grow up thinking he has to be submissive to his sister. You understand what I'm saying? And those wives are going to go home thinking that they can be now uh, above their husbands. Read that. No, no, no. Timothy. Yeah, verse 11. The book of 1 Timothy, chapter 2 and verse 11. Let the woman learn in silence with all suggestion. So that's how it's supposed to be. Our wives are supposed to learn in silence with all subjection. Subjection to who? Subjection to the word of God and subjection to, the, to her husband. Read. But I suffer not a woman to teach. But I what? But I suffer not a woman to teach. But unfortunately, a lot of our women are having an opportunity to teach for gain. Because this pastor, he, he'll put her up as a puppet just so she can bring in more money for him, for him, for his pockets. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.